What's up guys, Brandon Joshua here. I'm gonna try to film it the other way now, see if it works. But that's the hill we just came down right there. So I just came down that hill. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. So I ain't been back here in a while, so I don't really, uh, hey, I'm gonna try to get this right. I ain't been back here in a while, so I don't, I don't even know which way this goes. I know like back behind me is, back behind me like, well heck, I'll have to look at the compass on here. Uh, whichever way is behind me though, if that's south, it would, I'd have to go like, I don't know, anyway, I, I know where I'm at. <laughs> but I'm going to go this way, look at this stuff, we're just walking through these trails out here in the middle of the woods. We'll go see if we can see what's up. Get out your houses, man, just go talking, go hiking. I need a hiking buddy, I'm out here hiking by myself. It's, it's amazing how people are so scared to even get out their homes by themselves. I'm out here walking in woods in the middle of a forest by myself. <laughs> Besides the fuller dude I just seen, he's the first person I've seen in like three hours. And I didn't even talk to him, you just heard him down there. But there's another hill. Wow, that's a big tree over there knocked down, huh. Oh, 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 there's another, oh, we're down, we're on the bottom now, we, I've, it's like, I'm just like, there's three stages, that, we are up top, oh, wait a minute, I hope I ain't walking back the way I just came, <laughs> I think I am, yeah, yeah, we ain't gonna be able to go that much farther this way, because it's the way I was already, I was up there on the top, so we need to go back this way, I was already up at the top there, I was just gonna go see if there was another trail or something that would explore and connect around, but that's going into the reeds, like I said, where I grew up, we grew up in Deep Creek, so it's like we have marshlands around here, and we have we do have woods. We have the canal that goes all the way to North Carolina. The Elizabeth City, North Carolina line is like 45 minutes away. You can go all the way down the canal bank where you get a lot of sailboats. So we people around here are like, like I kind of grew up in the suburbs, but it's kind of like country suburbs in a way, but it's not country country, like where there's all like in the middle of nowhere. But when I grew up racing, you know, I grew up going to tracks in the middle of nowhere. So, like, every weekend, I grew up in the country, in different towns. Every weekend, we were in a different town. And uh, that's why we did that for so long. Like, that's, uh, my life is pretty interesting because I was, we traveled around racing for so many years. And every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I was gone. And I used to work out and train during the week and work. And then we would race every weekend. And then I became... A missionary for four years four days a week roughly doing that and um, then I started my company at 21 and then that's why I didn't become a youth pastor and I didn't keep being a missionary and you know it is what it is I can't say I regret it see stuff like this you gotta be careful when you're walking because stuff like that can catch you as slick see I hike these trails but remember like I said I, I start off racing motorcycles riding trails that are half this size way smaller going 40 50 mile an hour through trails like this going you know second third fourth gear wide open and you react to something like this turn to something like this trail right here this would be a third gear trail on a 250f if you're on a 450 you could still have it in third gear and just kind of uh long to get around instead of second gear but yeah so i'm used to trails like this and going around and uh, taking these trails in what I'm seeing I'm taking it in at 30 40 mile an hour so I'm used to registering trails that I'm going walking on or I would be riding racing a motorcycle on you know I, I'm used to taking all this in at 30 40 mile an hour and so my reactions are super fast and so walking them it feel it's like it's not boring because when you when I used to do that it was different because that was all all out speed going crazy adrenaline and then we got in the race of motocross where the jumps and jumping 100 foot jumps 30 you know 30 feet in the air and so on but then um i don't know but like hiking it now it's peaceful it's just peaceful so it, it has its i like this but i gotta find my, i gotta find which trail i came in in here because look at all this like i told you it's treacher treacherous <laughs> they obviously had some trucks up in here being, they were rooting, like I told you, here in uh, here in the creek, we call it rooting. I know that people be calling it full willing and, oh, you know what, that is where I came in. I came in through that way, but I wonder where that trail goes. You know what, I'm just going to have to go this way, I think. 
because I want to go to this other side. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. It's the bamboo stuff. Hold on. Yeah, see, I'm finding my way out. <laughs> I mean, I did grow up here. Yeah, I told you, this is kind of treacherous. I got a backpack on my back and a chair falling off. And, uh, this is why I got my hiking stick the Lord gave me when I said, man, I forgot my hike, my bamboo hiking stick. And the Lord, I look down and there's this stick right here, this big stick. I mean, come on, man. This is the stick. Of, this is the, the he done gave me my personal staff. He gave, over, he gave Moses his staff. And now I'm Joshua, Moses. Joshua took over for Moses. I'm Brandon Joshua. I've went by Josh or Joshua since I was a kid. But on YouTube and everything, I just go by to Brandon Joshua because I like it. Um, trying to remember which way I went. I, I dragged the ground somewhere. I made a mark. I think I went this way. Yeah, I did. I see the tree I walked on. Look at this, guys. I'm, this is crazy. I'm filming this, and then I'm going to cut this video off. I know this is my new phone. I probably shouldn't be doing this because if I fall or slip, I'm going to fall in this mud because I'm not going to drop a brand new phone that I just got again in the water. I, I busted the face on the other one. I dropped it off my lap and it fell face first on the rocks. So, they make them so cheap now. And so, yeah, see, I had to come over here. Oh, no. What did I do here? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, hold on. I came through this, I think. Let's go right here. Oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta get over here to this tree. Oh no, I'm sinking in the mud. And I'm by myself, so if I get stuck, I'm screwed. <laughs> it's all right, guys, we made it. See, I had to get over here and walk on top of this tree. Look at this, man. This stuff is treacherous in here. Oh, oh no, don't fall off, dude. Oh, head was fell. Nope, don't do it. I've, I didn't even wear boots or nothing. I'm an idiot. I don't even like wearing like etnies anymore, like skateboard type shoes because they're flat and my, I'm older now. I don't care about being cool. <laughs> These shoes are like so, they're not good for the bottoms of your feet and I'm walking with mud on them on top of that about to slip off and fall in a puddle. <coughs> well, we made it. This is where I was trying to go. We got to go like way back here in the back now to... And there's like another plant. That way is like the way out. Well, you see, some of these guys have put markers on here for like the trails. And that's kind of what I'm used to when we used to race. But, man, that one had me a little winded. But it's only because I got a chair. I got a chair and all this stuff hanging off me. I don't even see it. But look at this tree, man. Look at that. You come in here and you see things like this. I wish I could go somewhere where they had the big Amazon trees. But look how big that is. That tree's a couple hundred years old all day. I mean, people just don't appreciate life anymore. They don't appreciate creation. You know, people don't... I grew up playing football, neighborhoods versus neighborhoods, and now kids just play Madden on a TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we played neighborhoods versus neighborhoods. Skins and shirts. Like, 15 on 15, 11 on 11, 10 on 10. I mean, whole the whole deal. We had legit deals. Oh, sh let's see what's this. All right, I'm walking. I don't know if I'm on the right trail. I don't think I am. I'm gonna cut this off and make another one in a second.